was noticed online for her songs, her voice, and a unique venue. NBC4's Jonathan Gonzalez met her there and shares her story. I was looking for locations one day. I really like nature. I was just walking with my friend, and we were going through shrubs, going through the trees. And all of a sudden, I just came upon this tunnel. Over the years, it's kind of become like a home base for me. Just, it's just magical. <laughs> if tunnels help us break through to places otherwise unreachable. Yeah, I'm really thankful for this tunnel. <laughs> It's safe to say this tunnel has been nothing but a breakthrough for singer-songwriter Irene Diaz. We are at the tunnel where I perform, I sing songs, love songs. Baby. And I just noticed like all the natural reverb. I got you on my mind. This happened about 10 years ago. My chemicals are wild with just the thought of you. Yeah, this is my tunnel. And this is where Irene began recording and posting her songs in a series she called Tunnel Tuesdays. I want to take it higher. Her stunning voice accentuated by each reverberating ridge on the edges of this makeshift metallic music studio. Call, call me it's been a long journey. This tunnel, it kind of like started my career. <laughs> For Irene, it really started as a kid growing up in Highland Park. My dad's a musician, so that kind of influenced me to want to play music. I started playing piano when I was seven. When I was 16, I started playing guitar, and that's when I started songwriting. And today, Irene writes and performs alongside her wife, Carolyn Cardoza. medley of music gained the attention of none other than Mexican indie pop icon Carla Morrison, who invited Irene to open for her on tour earlier this year. I'm crazy in love. I loved it. It's just, you can't ask for like a better like mentor. <laughs> like Carla's legit. I'm just so thankful that I've come into her world. The worlds collided in a big way when the tour's final stop put the hometown girl on stage at one of LA's legendary venues. I opened for Carla Morrison at the Greek. Yet no one in the crowd could have guessed Irene's gig just 24 hours prior to this performance. It was really wild because the day before, I was working at a grocery store. Everybody sees this, you know, they see everything that's online, but they don't see what's happening, all the struggle that happens, like, behind the scenes. It's the peril and the promise of musical artists just trying to make a living. And as Irene prepares to play L.A.'s Ford Theater soon, it doesn't bother her one bit. What began a decade ago here in her tunnel has her seeing the light at the end of it. I'm so grateful for, like, all of the opportunities that are coming, like the Ford, the Greek. Somebody like me, somebody who bags groceries. I can't get this regular LA girl, like performing at these venues, it, it just blows my mind. No, I'll never get enough. Jonathan Gonzalez. Of you, my love. NBC4 News.